guys welcome back to my channel guys this is a channel of varieties and in today's video is week making tutorial we're gonna be using multi from expression products so let's do what we know to do best you can see that's the hair from the pack the multi from the pack and right now i'm just gonna cut it into three portion to use it for my wig so you just cut it into three portion but you can still cut it to any length of your choice but because of the style i want to make i decided to cut it into three portion and then you tie a rope like that to form a weave on from the attachment so you pass it through that way and then you form your weave on you pull the string like that and then you keep doing that till you finish you know tying all the hair and at the end of the day you get your weave on so it comes up like that and you can see the top there like a string you must make sure it comes out like that so that it will be tight and then what i'm using here as a cap is from diy i'm using diy cap do it yourself cap <laughs> and then i'm also going to use net you know on this week making because I would like to have a beautiful side part on the wig. Guys, let me also use this chance to welcome all the first timers in this channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. And for the old subscribers, I really love you guys for always coming back here. Guys, like I said earlier, this is a channel of varieties. In this channel, you get vlog, you get inspirational messages, you get wig making like what we are doing now, cooking and many more. So it would be nice for you to subscribe to this channel if you've not done so. Thank you. So let's continue. So after sewing the net on the wig, you need to cut off the surplus. This is the weave one we've made out of the attachment. I'm actually using black to start with the wig because I intend using, you know, two colors to make this wig. Like you saw at the beginning of the video. So you just have to sew on your black you know, weave on on the down part of the cap like that so that the style will come out nicely. So you start with the black weave on. And then you just take it round. You know, the first line, you take it round from the back to the front on both sides. So what we are doing here is exactly what we're going to do on the other side of the cap. So we just do that. And make sure you sew it nicely. Take your time and sew it tight to the cup. So we are done with that side. Now we are doing the other side. And like I said earlier, you do exactly what we did on the other side. And you're done with the first line. So we are going to start using the colored weave on. So we need colored thread to match with it. So that's the colored weave on. So we're going to start laying the colored weave on on the black weave on. And we lay it on that same direction as we started with the black one. We lay it on that same direction as we started with the black one. And then we just do that all around just like we did with the first, you know, black hair. So we're going to do the same thing on both sides. And guys, remember, this is handmade weave-on. <laughs> we just made this weave-on. So when you're sewing this weave-on, just take your time and make sure you sew it very well. Make it tight, you know, and strong. Don't just rush it. Otherwise, your wig will lose out very fast. Now we are sewing another line of the colored hair this is another line so you do the same thing and make sure your hair is tight well sewn remember it's handmade weave-on so if you just rush it out it's gonna lose quick so you just do that and do it nicely be patient when you're making your wig like this so just take your time and sew it nicely on the cap. 
Now, the direction of the wave run has changed. As you can see, now it's placing straight from the front of the hair so that we'll be able to achieve what we need to achieve. So you place it that way and then you sew it backward. Remember guys, when we started sewing this hair, we're sewing it from side to side. And now we are sewing it from front, then we'll go to the back and then we'll come back to the front. We are doing this to be able to achieve exactly what we need to achieve. continue that same way on this other side of the hair it's the same thing you have to do so just place it from the front and then you sew it backward that way you'll be able to achieve the style nicely so that's the way it goes that's the way it works so you can see that we are sewing from the front to the back but when we started at the back, we're sewing side to side. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to draw a straight line so that I'll be able to get a straight, you know, pattern. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do. And I'm using my comb as a ruler. And then any color of pencil that will match your scalp. So right now, I want to start, you know, making crochet on the hair. And I'm using black up there because of the style. So I'm just going to start, you know, filling up that space you're looking at there, the next section of the hair. I'm going to start filling it up, you know, with crochet. So I will do that till I cover up all the next section on the hair, as you can see. So all that open space there is going to be crocheted with black hair. We are doing that to be able to achieve the style nicely. So we are done with the crochet right now we need to brush the black section of the hair flat because we have to do something there right now so what we have to do there is brush the hair flat and then we start stitching only the black section of the hair to some certain level not all the black hair that we made up there but a little bit portion of it see how the needle is running through so that's the section we're just going to take like that round, sewing it with a thread. We are doing that because we need to achieve something so beautiful. So you stitch your hair that way and make sure it's well stitched. Make sure it's tight and strong. And then you do that all round. You keep stitching, you know, all round the black section from one end to the other side of the hair. You sew that nicely and make sure you seal it up nicely at the ending part of it. And then we'll move to the next step. The next step is cutting the black surplus hair out. So we'll only cut it from where we stitched the hair make sure you don't go below the stitches otherwise your hair will get loosed so we don't need the surplus part of the black hair 
And that is why we are cutting it off. We don't need that part for the style we need to achieve. So we need to cut that off so we can get the style nicely. So you cut off all the black surplus of the hair. You do that on the both sides of the hair. And then you can see that it's well cut and the style is out, looking so beautiful. So right now, we're going to do something else on the hair. What we need to do now is to trim the body of the hair to get a very good shape. So we'll start at the back of the hair. And it will be nice for you to start with the black part of the hair so that the good shape you're looking for you'll be able to achieve it nicely so start by cutting you know from the black part of the hair and then you go up to the colored one trimming it and letting it lay on top of the black hair you cut the black section first and then you trim the colored one letting it lay on the black hair so you'll be able to achieve the style nicely so that's the way it goes that's the way it goes guys you can see that the shape is actually coming out nicely it's coming out so beautiful so just make sure you take out the split ends from the hair even from the top of the hair you know, wherever you find split ends on the hair, take that out. Otherwise, the shape of your hair will not be able to come out nicely. So take out all the split ends as you cut to give you a better shape. So you do that to the front, keep cutting to the front. And keep removing the split ends. You do that on the other side as well. Whatever you did on the right is what you do on the left side of the hair. And make sure the cutting is just the same thing, the same shape. And that's the result of the hair. Guys, also the line on the wig, on the doll is actually on the center of the wig, but you can as well wear it on the side. So it can serve you both as a center pattern and also side pattern. Also guys, once you're done with the cutting of your wig like that, you can remove the wig from the doll and then you just cut off the surplus of the net in front of the cap. But you have to be very careful cutting that so you don't damage your wig. So you just take your time and you remove the surplus of the net in front of the wig. And then your wig is ready. Thanks guys for watching. And please, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends and your loved ones. See you with another powerful video. Bye for now.